If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other in Ixe. I will not hide from you the truth. Tirfradi does not want to welcome your people. They toy with us. Take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterward? If you give it to me, you will become our Karants. And we do not chase away our Karanten. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? I have come here looking for this crown, because I need the help of the next High King. I must meet Enon Mil Frichtemann to ask him to heal my people. Are you sure that they are your people? Very well. It is a very great honor you ask of me. But you took great risks in order to obtain it. If you give me the crown, I will open the sanctuary to you. You may speak to Enon Mil Frichtemann. I swear this to you. Very well. It is yours, but I hope you will remember what I have done. I helped you so that you will help me in return. I thank you. You are from this day a friend of Vedluk and of our warriors, and I always honor words given to Karams. We will meet again at Dorhad Ganador for the great choosing. Kwaawalam seg, Karams.
am likely to protect me in this battle. <laughs> 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 I've been waiting for you. I've got the crown. The council will soon unite. I must go and win. Thank you for giving it to me in the end. You are a carant now. Have no fear. I keep my promises. Congratulations, Deirdre. Tierfredi now has a High Queen who will be strong enough to defend it. I hope you haven't forgotten the promise you made me. Don't be afraid, Carrantz. I know the value of a promise, and I have not forgotten your help. But according to tradition, I must go and see Enon Milfrichtiman on my own first. Meet me at the entrance to the Sanctuary in two days, and I will get you inside. I will have had enough time to imbue myself with the strength of Tyr Fradi. Thank you, Dedra. I'll be there. Every one of us will be praying during these two days for Enon Milfrichtemann to bless our Chosen One. But we don't have to stay here and do nothing. We can go somewhere else if you want. There you are, Karant. How was the encounter? Good. Enon Milfrichtemann has filled my heart with strength. As I expected, he warned me about the threat the Renaixi are posing for our island. But go! He is expecting you. Stay on the right-hand path and do not turn back. They say those who turn back awaken the guardians of the sanctuary.
concerning the flesh of my earth. You are simply coming into being, have tangled the strings of destiny of all the other children. I am he, the corn, and on me three demands. I have followed each of your steps since your arrival. I hail you, Enon Miel Frichtemen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit, and her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be taught by my children, Learn to give back in return. Learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That's... that's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all of us. Flee, or you will be dead. I saw a Renaig say fleeing the sanctuary. The Monasenaig must have slipped past you. Enon Milfrichtimen cannot have been pleased about it. Did he still give you the answers you were looking for? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. So? The Renaixe would be the cause of their own deaths. If they weren't on the verge of doing the same thing to our island, I oh, would be applauding. In terms of the antidote, Enon Mil Frichtiman is often difficult to understand. Ask Adonegad. Thank you, Dedra. I must dwell on it. You look like you bit into a bitter fruit. Did you learn anything else? Yes, 
But I would like to verify something before I tell you about it. Fine. You know where to find me once you are done. Kwaawalam seg, Karantz. Goodbye. Constantine, my dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? I finally managed to enter the sanctuary at the heart of the island, and I was able to talk with Enon Miel Frichtemann. How marvelous! Tell me about it. The sanctuary is heavily protected. Only a high king can open it. <sighs> I remember you saying that Vimbar's death wasn't going to help us. How did you fix this problem? I had to interfere in the natives' elections and earn the trust of the pretender who seemed to be the best choice. You really are an outstanding diplomat. My father is an old, bitter man, but he was right about you. Tell me, who did you choose? Deirdre, the queen of the village of Vedluk. She's quite the radical warrior, but she's a strong leader. I'm certain that you have made the right choice. And then what did you do? I was able to enter the sanctuary. It was an incredible experience. It had to be. Oh, how I envy you. Entering the most secret places on this island, talking to a god. What does he look like? Is he some kind of very old and very powerful Donegad? No. In fact, I spoke to an extremely large tree, as strange as it may sound. Fascinating. And I thought that gods were always old bearded men. Did he tell you where the Malachor was coming from? Is it a curse that he cast upon the first settlers? No. According to him, we are responsible for the emergence of the Malachor. By exploiting the Earth so much, we have poisoned it. And the disease has contaminated us through the water that we drink and the plants that we eat. Strange, and yet it seems plausible. So, there wouldn't be an antidote? He says that the Earth can be healed. That his children know how to do it. I suppose he was talking about the Donegada. He also said that by healing the Earth, we would heal those who live on it. This is a fascinating revelation. It won't be easy for our neighbors to accept it, however. I'm afraid that even my father might receive it with skepticism. Did he tell you anything else? Yes. Something rather disturbing. He talked about you. He said his existence was in danger because of you. Really? But that doesn't make any sense. I never hurt anybody on this island. Unlike our neighbors, I have never abducted or tried to convert islanders. I don't think that's what he was referring to. Cousin, please, you know me. I have made some mistakes, but I never threatened anybody. The only person who I put in danger is you. And you know how sorry I am about that. Yes, I do know. Forget about it, will you? This god manifestly wants us to pay for the sins of our fathers and to have his revenge for the invasion. By sowing the seeds of discord between us, he's probably hoping to weaken us. Do you realize that you have succeeded where everyone else has failed? The whole continent should be thanking you. Is there anything you would like to tell me? I must take my leave. Take care and come back soon.
Sir de Sade, seeing you is a genuine relief. Your emissary informed us that you were in need of our help. Indeed. She must have told you that we were being attacked. We are sustaining the relentless assaults of furious animals, which some people believe to be sent by the demons of the island. Some people? So you're not certain that's the case? We were mistaken when we thought them responsible for the Malikor. I became more cautious, but no matter where these attacks come from, our men are becoming exhausted. One of our outposts to the east has sent us a distress message. They won't hold much longer. I beg you, you must go to their aid. Maybe they can help you find out where these beasts come from. I will go there and meet them. I hope to make it in time. I am infinitely grateful, Your Excellency. You have proved your efficiency many times already. I am certain you will put an end to this. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. You shouldn't stay here. We're sustaining terrible attacks. The animals appear to be crazy. They already killed several of my soldiers. We are actually here to help you. Are you the backup? We were starting to lose hope. I must admit that I was praying for more soldiers, but any help is welcome. We're under attack every night, and we've already lost a lot of men. At this rate, we won't survive another night. Don't worry. We will do everything in our power to make sure that you do. You still have some time to prepare before these beasts attack again. All right, let's wait. Ready, weapons! There they are! <laughs> We 
have succeeded. Bravo, soldiers. We have resisted. Thanks for your help. You are an extraordinary fighter. If it were for you, the outpost would have undoubtedly fallen tonight. If these attacks are always this violent, even with our support, it won't hold much longer. We must uncover the origin of these attacks. I've thought about it, and I sent a few men two days ago in the hope that they would find out where the attacks came from. But first and foremost, why they are attacking. But I haven't heard from them since. I'm afraid I might have sent them to their death. Could you at least tell me which way they went? I might be able to track them. They followed a trail going north of a place the natives call the Woods of Lightning. Thank you, officer. I will do everything in my power to find them. Until then, try to hold on. You be careful. Goodbye. I hope she isn't behind those attacks. Soldiers, my child, I think we should go to the north. This man will die if we don't do something about it. What... what happened? You... you saved me. Thank you. Uh, 
I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Your officer sent us. He told us that you were looking for the origin of these attacks. Uh, and we found it. We followed the beast's trail and, the, and it led us to a large glade east of here. You'll find raised stones there. The ones which are worshipped by the islanders. There was a, a, a creature there. A, a beast so large and so ferocious. I've, I've never seen anything like it. That's what must have been attracting the animals. We wanted to kill it, but it prevailed. All my comrades fell in battle against it. I fled. I had to inform the lieutenant. And you were right. Don't worry, we'll take care of it now. We took some notes and, and we drew a map as we progressed. It, it may be of use to you. Everything is in that chest over there. Here, take the key.
creature who was leading the animals. It looks like a guardian, but its skin is strange, covered with ulcers, as if it was sick. That could explain its change in behavior, but not the intelligence with which these attacks were led. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? You are back. I hear there are no more attacks. Once again, your help was a blessing. Did our troops survive? There were some losses, but the outpost is still standing. And it's thanks to them that I was able to follow the creature's trail. The officer sent out a small party hoping that they would be able to solve the problem. Now that's a resourceful man. Did his initiative bear fruit? His men died, alas. But following their tracks led me to the creature who was leading the animals. It resembled a Nardaig Manaman, a mountain guardian. But it seemed like it was sick. Its skin was covered in stains and ulcers, and its behavior was different from the other guardians I've met. Where could it have come from? And why did it send all these beasts after us? I don't know. But someone must be behind all this. These attacks are too coordinated and too complex to be the work of some creatures. You are a man of great ingenuity. I have no doubt that you will solve this mystery. At any rate, I am extremely grateful for the help you have given us. You're welcome. Anything else? I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency.
Sade. Glad to see that resentment didn't prevent your cousin from sending you here. I must admit that I had doubts. I'm here to listen to what you have to say. It doesn't mean that we'll help you. So, your emissary told us that Hikmet is sustaining attacks. It's true. Enraged beasts are relentlessly attacking the city and its outposts. My men are tiring themselves out, killing them by the dozen, but they just keep coming. If nothing is done, they'll eventually break through our defenses and invade the city. It will be slaughter. San Mateo suffered similar assaults. The beasts were led by a creature, some sort of Nardaik, different from the ones I have seen before. Maybe it's sending creatures here as well. But I killed it, so the attack should have stopped. They haven't. San Mateus is far from here. Something else must be going on. I'm convinced that these rebel savages are behind all this. They must believe that the Alliance still controls this town. I sent a scouting party to find out where they are hiding and taming their beasts, but I haven't heard from them since. We must find them, and above all, stop these attacks. I'm not used to saying this, but for the good of the population, I need your help. Do you know which way they went? No. Officer Rainhill, the supervisor of the outpost outside the city, is in charge of them. She'll be able to tell you where their tracks lead. Very well, Commander. I'll go see her. Anything else? I must go. Naturally. I won't want to hold you back. You managed to make it through. A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defenses. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that is why we're here. Your commander sent me. He's lost contact with a group of trackers and is worried about them. And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody city. But you wanted to ask me something. As I said, the commander sent me to find some trackers. He told me that you could help me. I'd like to see you try. Indeed, I was ordered to send out a party of scouts, which I did, despite our losses. They were supposed to find the bastard who's been sending us these critters. One of those savage sorcerers, no doubt. Can you tell me which way they went? 
Sorry, Your Excellency, I won't tell you anything until I receive some help. You have to understand, I hope that these men are alive. They are also under my command. But those who are here with me now are my main preoccupation. And as we speak, they're dropping like flies. Not to mention the fact that if this outpost falls, there won't be much left to protect the city. So you can go and tell the governor that if he wants me to help you, he will have to help us first. I understand that your situation is desperate, that you want to take care of what appears most urgent. But it's not simply about me saving a few men. It's about stopping these attacks once and for all. By getting to their root cause, I intend to put an end to it. And then any help you hope to receive won't be needed any longer. You're right. I'm sorry, these attacks have made me lose my nerve. I don't know what I'm saying. They went towards the west, where the rebels are most numerous. Are you talking about the Danaea Exregal? If you like. The governor is certain that these savages are behind the attacks. So I sent my men to find their camp. This isn't the first time that we've tried to find them. But now our survival depends on it. I see. Well, thank you, Captain. I'll try to find your man and put an end to all this. Good luck. And if my men are alive, send them back here, will you? You can count on me. I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you the scout sent by the governor of Hikmet? Can't you tell? He was worried that he wasn't getting any news from you and asked me to find you. He wants me to help him put an end to the attacks. Have you discovered anything? Yes. A camp of rebel savages. We suspected there was one around here. And we finally found it. They must be the ones sending us the beasts. They all come from this region. And these barbarians have sworn to eliminate us. So we... You may be right, but I'd rather be certain. I know the leader of this camp. I'll go talk to her. You... you knew of this camp? These savages are responsible for dozens of deaths, maybe hundreds. Why didn't you inform the governor? Because I'm a diplomat, not a scout. You should go back to the outpost now. I'll take care of all this. I wanted to speak to you about the assaults that Hikmed and its outposts have been sustaining. Assaults? We have nothing to do with it this time. My men are not ready to attack the big city. They're not being attacked by men, but by beasts. Dozens of them. So, they are also attacking the Renegse? That's a relief. What do you mean? 
The animals are attacking us as well. They throw themselves at any man crossing their path, as if they were enraged. They even throw themselves at the camp's defenses. I had never seen anything like it before. A similar thing was happening west of the island. The animals were being led by some sort of guardian. It resembled a Nardaig Manaemon, but its skin was black and covered in ulcers. I have never seen a guardian that fits the description you've given. I don't think they exist. Could a Denegad have done this? You're a typical Renegse. You don't understand anything. The Nardaig are our ancestors. None of our people would make a Nardaig suffer, even if their heart was black and full of resentment. And yet someone or something is making the beasts aggressive here as well. And we must find it. Three? Do you want us to work together? Why shouldn't we? Don't you want this to stop too? That's true. Mal! Our guardian! He had changed! He is attacking our own! What? Come! Follow me! Maybe I'm
happened to Arnadai? No idea. I'm sorry. It left me no choice. You fought bravely, and you did what you had to do. Our Guardian had changed. It no longer recognized its children, and it was the one leading these beasts against us. Something really bad must have happened to it. It resembled the other Guardian I told you about. As if they had the same disease. Guardians don't get sick. They are far more than beasts. And yet you and I saw the same thing. At last. The attack should stop now. What are you doing here? Who are these Renites, eh? Spies? They only came here to discover the source of the attacks. And they thought we were responsible. Why are you still here? You should have gone back to the outpost. I... I'm sorry. We were uncertain that we could trust you. You said you knew these... people. And then we heard cries. And saw the giant creature attacking their camp. And we realized that it was this creature who was leading the beasts. And you discovered that we weren't to blame. Yes. I'm... I'm really sorry. We should go back to the outpost now. Then, if we let them go, they'll tell their leader the location of our camp. You. Are you prepared to swear that you will never speak of this place? You... You saved our comrades and maybe our city by killing this beast, so... Yes. We swear. I hope that they will be true to their word. Fine. They can go. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, Duren. Now, let's go tell the governor of Hikmet about this guardian. Qua awelem seg, Rinaigse. And if you find the one who's behind all this, kill him.
I suppose that you've been informed. Yes, I was told that the attacks had stopped. So, was it the savages like I thought? No. The Danaea Exregal were being attacked by these animals as well. And they were as surprised as I was to see that the beasts were answering the call of a strange-looking guardian. He seemed to be afflicted by the same disease as the one who led the attack on San Mateus. Either way, the Guardians are creatures of the island. They protect the natives. The rebels may not be involved in these attacks, but that doesn't mean that another tribe isn't responsible. The natives knew it and said that it was transformed. It looked sick. No native would make a Guardian suffer like that. Someone else must be responsible for these attacks. I just don't know who yet. Knowing you, you will eventually find out. And I hope you'll make them pay for those who died in Hikmet. In the meantime, please take this as a token of our gratitude. And as an apology. I now realize that I should never have acted against you or your cousin. Thank you, Commander. I will inform him of your apologies as well as your gratitude. Anything else? I must go. Naturally. I won't want to hold you back. Constantine, my dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So what was causing them? The city and its outposts were continuously being attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I have never seen anything like it. And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation. Do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a Guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The Governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the Islanders. And yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardai Glenderman, a beach guardian. But it seemed just the sick. And it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So, it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done. By eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps. But I'm certain there's more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, dear cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right, but I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, dear cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far. 
Rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later. But why would he leave like that? God, do you know where my cousin is going? Sorry, Your Excellency. His Highness didn't tell me anything. You are one of his bodyguards, aren't you? I am, Your Excellency. But recently, it has been difficult to force His Highness to accept our presence. Recently? You mean this isn't the first time he's left without an escort? I... I'm sorry, Your Excellency. You better tell me everything. But I... Fine. I don't mean to be disrespectful towards him. But His Highness's behavior has been very... peculiar recently. He sleeps very little and goes out alone almost every night. And it didn't occur to anyone that I should be informed? Well, His Highness had specifically ordered us not to tell you about it. And where does he go? I thought the days when he used to go from tavern to tavern were over. He... he doesn't go to taverns, Your Excellency. From what I know, he... he goes outside the city. Where could he go outside the city? I've no idea. We saw him going north. That's all I know. Listen. I understand this matter is putting you in a difficult situation. You were supposed to protect my cousin wherever he went, but he refused and ordered you to keep your mouth shut. But Constantine is not just my governor. He's my cousin. I'm worried about him. He's already been abducted once when leaving the city. So... If you know anything else... I don't really know where he's going, Your Excellency. But I think I know where you could find out. When he doesn't leave the palace, he stays in his office for hours. He writes so much down in there that he could fill entire books. Here, I have the key. Take it. I hope you find His Highness and manage to make him see reason. I don't like this at all. What could he be doing outside every night? This boy has always behaved erratically. Locked. Sorry. It can't be easy to discover that your cousin has descended into madness. But we can't let him kill these people simply because he's afraid they might have seen him. The trees on your road always bear fruit. Thanks. You saved us. These beasts would have torn us to shreds. These animals were strange, as if they were enraged. Thanks again, Renaixi. I'm glad I could help you. And perhaps you can do me a favor in return. I'm looking for a young man, a Renaixi. But he looks a bit like an Onol Manawi. Someone like you? In some ways. But his marks are different, darker. 
He's talking about the crazy Donegad. Indeed, that might be him. Do you know where to find him? No, we see him passing by around nightfall, but we don't know where he's going. He walks along the path, often followed by some beasts. He has a sinister look in his eyes. He scares me, so we stay hidden. And you do well to hide. I think he's the one who sent these animals to attack you. Do you have any idea how I could figure out where he's going? He could hide in the old house. He would see him passing by and could follow, couldn't he? You're right. If you take this path to the right, you'll reach an abandoned house. You can hide there. And from up there, you will be able to see the path perfectly. Thank you. You've been a great help. And stay hidden. You may still be in danger. Be prudent, on all Manawi. I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. We can't be seen from the path. Let's wait here to see where Constantine goes. Here comes your cousin. In very strange company. Constantine, what are you doing? Cousin! You're here! I, I, I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way. To be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you're talking about, but what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. The temptation is so great to share all with you right now. You have done so much for me. You have given me so much. I haven't forgotten, believe me. But I still have more to do. 
Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back, but do not kill him for anything in the world. Constant. But I don't understand. What he wants? Eternity. Strength. Power. It is what they all want. Those who take without looking beyond themselves. Like all those from the faraway lands. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness. The brevity of his existence that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each time that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. And now it's my heart, my most sacred sanctuary that he covets. You must kill him. It is madness. The consequence of his folly, yes. Believe me, there is no other solution. Stop him, flesh of my earth, or there will be nothing left to save. I still can't believe this. I understand what you feel. I have trouble believing it myself. But Enon Mielfrichtemann never lies. We need to stop your cousin by any means possible. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. This hiding place he was talking about in his notes. We must find it. If he is as clever as I think, my child, there is a chance his guards will have been warned of our coming. We need to be prudent from now on, even if he is keen on sparing you. I'm well aware. It is not just my life at stake. And what hope do we have against all the creatures he is assembling? Give us your help, Illuminated, because the path is dark. Allow me to be more pragmatic, Father. It's an army that we need. Allies. The natives will help us. 
Perhaps the Nauts, if we're able to convince the Admiral. The idea disgusts me to ask for help from that viper, Torsten. But his men would be useful. And we could also speak to the Mother Cardinal. The support of the Enlightened can't be refused. <sighs> what an absurd project. On the continent, they would brand us crazy. But not here. On an island where everything is possible, and all folly is accepted. Let us go. We need to put an end to all of this. What do you seek? I have come to ask for your help in stopping my cousin. The one Finbar abducted? Why do you want to stop him now? He was afflicted by a terrible disease. Katasak bonded him to the island to cure him, but the power he received from it made him go insane. Do you remember the attacks of creatures led by a strange guardian? Of course. I was even told that you fought one of them with Daren. I would have loved to be there. He was sent by my cousin. He managed to bond himself to other places, and he transformed their guardian each time. The Donegada never bind themselves more than once. They say it would be very bad for Tyr Fradi. I'm afraid they may be right. Now he wants to target the sanctuary of Dorhad Genedu. So, he is the one Enon Milfrichtemen was talking about when he warned me of danger. Without a doubt. And to stop him, I need allies. I intend to suggest this alliance to other factions, but I need the support of your people. I know that you don't like the Renaigse and that you do not trust them, but we are all threatened. We have no choice but to act as one. I do not like your proposition, and you know it. But you are our Karants, and we cannot refuse to answer the call of Enon Mil Frichtemen. I will assemble my best warriors and we will go defend the sanctuary with you. In the meantime, take this weapon. It has always served me well, and I hope it will help you in this fight. Thank you, Deirdre. We will prevail or we will die. May the volcano give you its fury, Karantz. Anything more? I need to be going. Gwawalem Seg.
Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sade, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the native's main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. But we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. You expect us to participate in a combined attack to protect an insular sanctuary? I hope you realize that for me to accept, I would have to be insane. Or have full trust in you. Are you implying that you may change your mind? If you accept to deal with the problem I entrusted you with, then you would at least have a chance. And what if I simply reminded you that you owe me a debt? You surprised me, Desade. I wouldn't have thought you were so guileful. But you were taught well. Ah, since you leave me no choice, fine. My men will fight by your side. But I hope that my debt will then be repaid once and for all. Of course, Your Eminence. Thank you. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Commander Torsten. Sir de Sade, what a pleasure to have you visit. What can I do for you? 
I investigated and discovered the identity of the person who orchestrated the attacks on Hikmet. I was certain you would eventually find out who. You never give up. So, who is the bastard responsible for all these deaths? My cousin, Constantine. Your cousin? You have some nerve. What do you want? For me to declare war on you? No. You must understand that the congregation had no hand in this. Constantine acted alone. Ever since he fell ill, he hasn't been himself. And who knows? Maybe the shock he felt after your attempted coup had something to do with it. These attacks would be his revenge. Why target the others then? I don't know. But I know that he performed a native ritual bonding him to the island several times. Each of these rituals gave him a great magical power and control of some guardians. Now he's threatening to target the main native sanctuary at the heart of the island. And if he succeeds, we won't be able to stop him. You come here with your bizarre tales about magic, rituals and sanctuaries, probably expecting me to send my troops out far away from my city. For all I know, you might very well still be acting on your cousin's behalf. If that were the case, why would I have come to your rescue when the creatures attacked you? I could have just let them overwhelm you and your city would have fallen. But despite your treason, I helped you. And I'm now asking you to help me in return. I already managed to convince other factions to support me. But your men are still the best soldiers. If we want to have a chance at saving this island and its population, we must fight together. I am in your debt, it's true. Without your intervention, I would probably have lost my city. And since I don't want you to think I'm ungrateful, I will give you this. I hope that it will prove useful to you, but you will have to fight without us. My men will never follow you in battle. They don't trust you. Sorry, Tasade. That is regrettable. But thank you, Commander. I must go. Naturally. I wouldn't want to hold you back. Desarde, what can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders, and now he uses them to attack the cities and the villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business, Desarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I already have the support of other factions, but I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. Alas, even if I wanted to, I couldn't send you my men. They don't trust you enough to follow you and fight on land. 
Could there be a way to make them change their mind? Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Noughts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. Very well. I will do my best. Even though time is running out. I expect nothing less of you. See you later, Desarde. Captain Reuben? Aye, the man himself. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Desarde, legate of the merchant congregation. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Alba, a committed volunteer from Teleme. Ah, she only joined us a short time ago. But did you want to know anything else? The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship we arrived on. The Seahorse? Yes. It's an excellent ship and a good crew. But you did the crossing. You know it as well as me. Did you want to know anything else? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. What led you to these suspicions? Well, the girl's behavior. She was very eager at first, very willing, almost too much. Then, suddenly, she became nervous. She isolated herself and did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. Uh, you can understand my concern, but you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. But did you want to know anything else? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. Hey, happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since your crossing? Good, thank you. Even if I've got quite a list of errands to check off. Then straight to it. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a nought. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What can I do for you? Can you tell me anything about Alba? Well, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. 
You could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where is she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers... We never know if we can trust them. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Your Excellency! I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. What can I do for you? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently, but I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition, and she did everything she could to become one of our own. Until we arrived here, she suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. No, I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. I'm afraid these little secrets have not helped us a great deal. This Alba had just enlisted. She was happy, then changed her attitude. But is she a spy? We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see our tough call? You don't know who you're messing with. My child, I doubt that your job as legate involves managing fights between drunkards. You better get out of here unless you want to end up in jail. Oh, he thinks we'll allow that to happen. On guard, sir! <coughs> On guard! What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? 
Nothing, thanks. I'm not thirsty just yet. Hey, look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. How may I help you? We're looking for a young Nort. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea, she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Tell me what you saw. I'd like to tell you all that, but... <coughs> my throat's a little dry, my friend. Do you want to know anything else? Tell me what you saw. I'd like to tell you all that, but... <coughs> my throat's a little dry, my friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. Oh, here you are again. More questions? Tell me what you saw. This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the noughts, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. A box under a stone. What do we do now? Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. Oh, I'm a little old for hiding in the bushes, but if that's what you want to do... Protect me in the 
this battle. Found it, Dara Grimmeter and We can see without being seen here. Shall we wait here? Someone is approaching. Maybe our spy. This man looks like a messenger. We should follow him and find out who gives him his order. Well, gentlemen, what are you plotting? Fool! They followed us! I... but I was careful. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Do you realize that you were suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait! I, I don't want to end up in jail. It, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumoured that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. So I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Uh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. Ah, Your Excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Norts, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note, which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you, but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral.